Welcome to Dead Poly. I've been keeping an eye on this game for a little while now, and I finally decided to give it a try. There are many games like this on Steam, but this one's been out since January 2022. It's um, actively updated by the developer. There's lots of news and information on it, and there's a wiki for it. So I feel like this is a good, legit game, and I'm ready to give it a whirl. And oh, geez, we got zombies already. And they move quickly. There we go. So, oh, <laughs> this guy is loaded. 173 bucks there. Are his pants literally around his ankles? This, this game's <laughs> surprisingly realistic in some areas. This guy's carrying a table. <laughs> Scratch that. Okay, so I actually, I don't know where I am. I played the tutorial and I played just for like 10 minutes on my own just to kind of see what the game looked like and make sure that this was like <laughs> something I could make a video on. Okay, so I'm gonna whack this with my frying pan. We're gonna fry up some wood. Okay, there we go. I chopped down a whole tree. <laughs> Amazing realism here. But anyway, that will allow me to craft a couple of bandages here. Okay, we got crossbow, storages, mortar and pestle. There's all kinds of stuff. This is like a legit survival game. Although I'm not sure... I've never watched any content on this or done much research on it. So I'm not really sure like what the, uh, the goal is here. I'm gonna just go into first person for combat because um, I just find it to be a little bit easier that way. And then I will do my looting and walking in third person. Right, oh, look at this. We've got some soda, we've got a firefighter helmet, and an axe. Oh, and what's this? A heavy vest. Okay, so we want to go to gear. We're going to apply our fireman's... Oh, now we look ridiculous. Uh, we'll work on that. And then primary weapon should be the fire axe. And then... So, okay, I don't know what you call this type of an inventory system, but... Um, I don't know, it's uh, it's like Diablo. That was the first game I ever played that had an inventory like this. And um, so we got coming soon clothing, so you can customize your character. We've got accessories, and um, I've, I've found like pouches, like, um, like tactical pouches, so you can put stuff in those. There's, uh, I don't know what these are, but they're coming soon. Backpack, that will give you more. Oh look, my vest actually has storage as well. Nice, I just noticed that. Uh, face you can wear like a gas mask or a respirator or something like that. Okay. Oh, there's a our respirator right there. I can toss that on. Can I? Can I not toss that on? Equip? Oh no, that goes into an accessory pouch. Okay. Oh, 3D glasses. <laughs> does that go on my face? It does. How do I see my face, man? The game has a ton of controls. Like it's actually really well thought out and complex. There's like vaulting, although the vaulting's kind of like buggy. Oh, you can like change clothes. Okay, O, P, toggle camera view, toggle combat mode. What is that? Toggle fire mode, inventory, vault. Oh, free look. Okay, left alt. There we go. Okay, <laughs> yeah, baby. Survive it in style here. Oh, ooh. Oh dear, I can, um. So maybe instead of uh, being able to change my clothes, I can just like, <laughs> like very quickly auto change them. I'm liking the spiffy purple here and oh, I can dance. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's enough of this. Man, I look, like, I look like a pimp here. Hey, some pizza on the floor. That's not suspicious. Okay. So one thing I don't know is, oh, more pizza, man. Is this like a, a uh, someone's luring me in here? They know me too well. Okay. Let's try a, yeah. Nope, that didn't quite work out. What do we got here though? Gas mask and Lucille. But there was something up here I wanted to check out. Oh yes, the backpack, equip that up and that gives us a ton more storage. Yeah, okay, so I don't know like what I'm supposed to be doing here. Am I just like looting? I think there's vehicles in the game too. I was reading the game news when I loaded it up and there's a soccer ball there, some epinephrine. So, okay, we get an EpiPen that, um, okay, that appears to give us 10 health, five food, Neg oh, negative five food, negative 10 water, and 100% stamina. Ooh, ooh, that's good. Okay, re small reinforced crate. Can I just, can I take that with me? We'll put that in the backpack. That's like something, I uh, storage that I'd like to have at the base, maybe. Oh, I made it. Okay, car battery. I'm imagine, maybe you need that to, to do your car up? A car battery. Maybe you need to get some gas too. I'll hang on to it for now. Yeah, so is there like a horde knight that we should be preparing for or, um, you know, any sort of like tower defense element to this game? Because that would be awesome because this, um, this polygon art style doesn't seem to be very taxing for the computer. I'm getting like 200 frames per second here in this stairway. 
Um, so it would be nice to see like how many zombies you can have on screen. Okay, bandages. Yes, need those. Oh, and I just noticed that um, this uh, I had four slots to begin with, but I think by adding my tactical vest, I can now have more items down here on the hot bar. And by my reckoning, it doesn't appear as though like I'm gonna level up or anything. I don't think I'm getting XP. So uh, do I just kill zombies for fun? I mean, they sometimes they have loot on them. Come here. Like this guy has an antique table. Just uh, put that down there. They don't seem to be very aware of that, or I'm super good at stealth. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's got uh, a hazmat suit on. Oh, speaking of hazmat suit, let's put the gas mask on my face. Yeah, it probably seems to have like more utility than uh, 3D glasses, right? I can't even see 3D. I'm actually blind in one eye, so <laughs> I don't need that at all. Come here. Oh, ow. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, so, um,. Where even are we right now? We are, let's try to do some dead reckoning here and I'll check the map. Okay, we are next to this bridge. I remember seeing this on the map. So, uh, where's where's the sun? The sun is kind of, it's kind of like noontime. So I really don't know if that's gonna help us, but the ship right there might be this ship right here. Let's go, let's go check that out. Yeah, it is. Okay, so in fact, we are way up here. So this is like this little lagoon here that I'm looking at right here. Okay, that means I'm I'm way up here. Okay, so let's uh let's skirt the edge and we'll go check out that ship over there. Ooh, a safe house, which uh, I might have been safe at one point, but really not. Ooh, a vector. Oh my god, this is such a cool gun and water jug. Do you think we need water? Should I just drink some and put it away? That's a big container. Another fire axe. Oh, hello. A military helmet. Yes, uh, probably gonna be better than my fireman helmet, I would imagine. Here, I'll trade you. There we go. Yeah, we're looking much better. Can I get maybe a, a better? Oh yeah, there we go. Yep, I like it. Okay, I don't see a way to get onto the ship, and I don't even know if it's worth it to to get on the ship. But this might be an opportunity to test out the construction system and see if I can build my way up there. Ow! Oh, a fishing rod. Uh. I can see where that might be helpful. Can I maybe uh, play with that? Oh, I don't need this frying pan, do I? Number two. Okay, let's try this. I get distracted very easily. You'll get used to it. No, oh, no, this is, <laughs> oh, it's a weapon. It does 10 damage. Fire axe does 15. What about, yeah, Lucille does 17. Okay, I just chopped down some trees and I was thinking when I was doing that, that yeah, I, I'm, I think I'm gonna need nails to make like basically everything. Oh, this this says this makeshift fishing rod can be used near the water. Am I maybe not using this correctly? Do the caps lock to change the attack mode. Oh, there we go. Right click, I see. Oh, I caught a small fish. There we go. Oh, right there, SF, small fish. I can fillet it now. Now I have raw meat. Maybe I need a campfire. Oh, I need I need stone to make a campfire. There we go, it's working. Oh, you know what? Okay, we, we can make a workbench. Maybe that'll allow us to make nails. And I probably, I need to figure out where to get iron from. Probably like cars, right? Let's try this. Oh, there we go, yes, metal. I see. Although it seems to be kind of a finite resource. I'm not getting any more out of that. Though I seem to have gotten a lot more out of that van. Quite a bit, oh, well, hello there, workbench. That just popped out. Okay, so I'm just gonna stand here and just like plop out the campfire and nope, that's, oh, place? Ah, here we go, place it down, open it up. I guess uh, let's put on the fillet and the wood and turn it on. Ooh. Oh, and then it just deposits it out. It's not gonna burn it. Nice. Okay, we are hungry, we'll eat the fish. Damn, uh, I don't know if you're enjoying this, but I sure as hell am. This is really fun, okay. <laughs> I guess we just live here in the street. <laughs> pick this up. Okay, I can't pick it up. It's four by four. I don't have any capacity to have something that's four by four. So it's just, it's stuck here, I guess. Okay, it just happened again. It just, it just plops out, I guess. Okay, so we need to find a bigger backpack. We need to get like a military backpack, something that has a like four rows of capacity. And then maybe we'll be able to move that around and then place it down officially. So it's not just like a dropped item on the floor. And in the meantime, I will just put some of our materials here. And I, if I had to say, I guess um, 
Okay, this is a good landmark. We'll know where to come back for our stuff if we venture off too far. Really not a terrible place to live. It's near the water, so we can do fishing if we have to, and it seems to be pretty centrally located in this big city here. So, okay, let's press on and do some looting. I found some cardboard wings. <laughs> oh, this is great. We are looking great these days. You know, if anything, I think that obstructs my view. So it gives me one armor. Really though, I don't think I need it. Got myself a paintball mask. Oh, look at this, a Spartan helmet. Armor of five, military armor, military helmets, armor of 10. I'll see how it looks at least. Okay, with the paintball mask on, looks bad. All alone with a respirator, still looks bad. All alone looks okay, I guess. There we go, here's a military backpack. I'm gonna just ditch the old and um, pick up the new. What do you mean I don't have room for it? Equip. Okay, there we go. Oh, I just equipped it and I think we're good now. Just uh, eat that banana and let's head back and see if we can get the workbench going. There we go, picked it right up, no problem. Place it down right there and um, I guess we'll just have two. Another one over there. Okay, so I, I think if I remember from the tutorial, you have to put your stuff that you want to build with into the storage and then you can craft stuff from the storage. Oh my God, okay, item salvager, concrete, concrete mixer, a sewing machine. I'm actually just looking for nails. Any nails here? A nice addition would be to like gray out the things that I can't make and then highlight the things that I can so I can kind of, you know, see what's going on here. Okay, so the anvil here is the crafting station for metal items and that's going to require metal and a hammer. We have the hammer, we have a bit of the metal, we need more. Holy crap, what is that? Uh, no, 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 we're not even gonna, should we try? Should we try this? I think it's a bad idea, but, um, we gotta learn one way or the other. Oh my goodness. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm very, very scared. Okay, I need the better view of my surroundings here. He come on, oh, come on, ah. Just keep backpedaling. Oh my goodness, he hurts really bad. He put a bandage on me. Quickly now, stupid whoever you are, get out of here. Hey, come on, just run, just run. Ow, oh <laughs> jeez. Okay, fortunately, he's slow. I can just backpedal. Okay, he's gonna take 50% of my health with each hit. Which means I need a lot more healing items here. Okay, crafting. Bandage, bandage. I don't have any items. I put the wood in the workstation. Just, um, oh, I don't know what to do here. Yeah, just run. I don't know if I'm even doing any damage. Should I be aiming for his head, maybe? Eee. Okay, I think I have the flow down. You just go whack, and then you run away. Although I'm getting the distinct impression that I'm not doing jack. I just saw that the game auto-saved. That is good news. Okay, here, um, gear. Yes, put the ax away. Can I put the ax away? This is difficult. Grr, yes, okay, give me Lucille. Try the blunt on him. Okay, I'm, this is just not working and it looks like it's gonna be nightfall soon. I don't wanna do this all night, so. What I will do is just try to lead him deeper into the city away from our base, which is like literally right behind that building and then uh, see if we can just ditch him, I guess. Not looking good, not looking good. Okay, and at this point, just run. Just run, sprint home. Okay, at a bare minimum, we broke line of sight on him, and yep, he is walking away now. And while we got a moment, craft bandages, lots of them. Okay, so I was back at the base camp and I crafted the anvil. And while that's cooking there, I'm gonna just kind of try to explore here a little bit. So I made a torch, but um, I'm finding that this, uh, it's so bright that it kind of makes everything else very, very dark. And so my distance vision is not very good. If I turn it off, I feel like it's also not very good. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna try to, you know, safely. Oh, look, I can just put it right in my backpack. Well, that's handy. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to collect some resources through the night and hopefully find some water. Very, very thirsty. Oh, look at this. I got a vector magazine with 20 rounds in it. Oh, that is nice. Good luck there. Oh man, this is um, this is kind of terrifying. I can't really see more than uh, 10 or 15 meters in front of me. First person seems to be better because the light's not kind of shining in my eye, but um, the light doesn't cast very far either. And without a compass, I've totally lost my sense of direction. I really don't know where I am or where I'm going. Oh, okay, there's the camp right there. All right, that helps a lot. I left the fire running. Oh, what is this? A neon sign, yes. 
Oh, apple juice. Okay, super thirsty still. Drink that immediately. Oh, and we got some storage crates here. Ooh, with a sledgehammer. Ooh, damage is 20 on that. I've got just so much crap going on. Okay, we can get rid of Lucille and this modified axe that I found, and I'll take the sledgehammer and eat the pizza. Oh, and this has a gigantic blue storage crate. Can I just set that out here so I can see it? Okay, that's kind of nice. Okay, ooh, medical kit and some tape. All right, I gotta run back to base then. Yo, put the neon sign right there. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. Okay, we can uh, take the anvil out and place that down there and uh, open it up and, okay, here we go. Oh, look at all the metal items here. We can make um, magazines for weapons, nails. That's what we need mostly, I think. Uh, you can make safes, barbed wire, a press for making bullets. That requires a wrench though. Man, this game just gets cooler and cooler. There's so much more depth to this game than I originally thought there would be. Oh, uh, the crossbow that I made. Okay, I thought that might be handy for um, killing the big beast thing. I'm thinking uh, headshots probably our best bet for him. So let's get like 10 wooden crossbow bolts, maybe? I think these are crafting in um, just, you know, one at a time. All right, we should be in business. We've got the vector. We've got uh, 20 rounds for it. We've got the crossbow and 10 rounds for that. Um, We'll have to play with that in a minute. Again, a nighttime. Oh, it's almost morning. So what are we gonna make here? Oh my God, look at the, okay, item salvager. Used to salvage items for raw materials. There's a couple of them, different colors, I guess. Requires wire cutter, screwdriver, a hammer, and also spark plug, fuel conditioner, wire metal. Okay, maybe I need like a wrench. If I find a wrench and I start wrenching cars and stuff like that, am I gonna get like more materials out of it? Oh, man, I don't know. With the cost of nails being so high, I almost feel like it's better to like find an existing structure and like convert that into your base. So that's what I'm gonna be on the lookout for today is like uh, some, some kind of like an easy conversion so we don't have to like build from the ground up. Okay, so let's go secondary weapon and load. Okay, yes, R to reload and then let him have it. Might be easier in third person here. I get the crosshair. Yep, okay, headshot. I feel like headshots are the best bet for this guy. <laughs> he must be weakened, right? We shot him like, or we hit him with the baseball bat 30 times. There we go. You better have some good loot on you. Whoa. Okay, a good hefty pipe, a mallet, a baklava, some tape, and a guardian statue. I'll take all that. Back to the base, I gotta put the statue down. Yes, right there, please. Ooh, so cool. I think the mallet, that must be used to make something, and this hefty pipe is good for whacking stuff, but I don't think I really need it, the, right now at least. Just like stash it away in the storage. We're still super thirsty, okay? So that's the focus for right now, is we gotta find like a restaurant to raid. Oh, diner, right there. <laughs> oh look, she had water, whoa, get out of here. I feel like some of these zombies are way faster and like hit harder than others. Oh, and also a cupcake. This is how we're looking right now. I found like some kind of a weird phantom mask, but then I found the baklava. Whoa, <laughs> look out. Crawlers. <laughs> get the bandage on, get the bandage on. Oh, I, there's a, there's a cancel button. I just uh, neglected to use it. Oh, look at this water jug. Oh, we need to just take that with us. That's got a lot of water in it. Waffle. Oh, a spiked baseball bat. Nice. Okay, that uh, seems a little bit better than Lucille, but not quite as good as the sledgehammer. Another vector clip. Nice. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's time to give that vector a try. Load it up. Okay, we got uh, three mags. All right, let's see how this does. <laughs> uh, shockingly effective. Certainly this is full auto though, right? It's not but it's like semi-auto. Ooh, ooh, bear trap. You know, I'm gonna assume that that's just not something that I wanna step on. Ooh, a pickaxe, useful for hitting rocks. Okay, right, uh, this place right here. So I played another game called Horde and Horde was a game that had this exact set in it. So, uh, and, you know, there's some controversy, I guess I've discovered recently that, um, you know, some game developers are just kind of like getting assets from the asset store, like the Unity store or something like that. And then they're just kind of like flipping it and trying to make a quick buck on a quick game there. But, um, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't really dig into that kind of stuff. But um, this is kind of uh, some evidence that, you know, multiple games are using the same thing. And I, you know, 
I don't know if they like just ripped it or if they paid for it, they licensed it from a store or something like that. Cause like, you know, I don't make my own music for <laughs> videos. I license it and it's the same for like game assets. So I don't know, you know, you let me know if you know what's going on. I don't have really the, uh, the capacity to kind of investigate every game that I play. <laughs> a game brick. <laughs> nice. Oh, bunker 24 key. Oh, there's a bunker, a secret bunker somewhere. Okay, there's a uh, quarantine zone wall here, which looks pretty cool. What's back here? Not exactly sure. The wall just kind of wraps around here, and then I think it just cuts off completely. Like, they didn't get very far before the zombies get in. Okay, so having a look around town, I haven't really found anything that really appealed to me in turn. Oh, there's that water jug that I had earlier, but I forgot. Oh, what is this? A scar? Have I been in- did I just not even go in here and I'm thinking of something else here? Okay, so just put the water jug here because we're gonna live here from now on. And yeah, we'll pick that up later. In fact, I need to put everything in here so that I can start lugging all my stuff over here and get to work on construction. Oh, a poster. Get back to work poster. I can put that down somewhere. How about uh, right there? <laughs> yes, getting decorated already. All right, so I got base camp set up here. We're all moved in. I've even got some decorations here. I thought maybe now we'd see if we can get some stuff crafted in terms of like doors, shelving, and defenses. Oh, wow, look at this. If you hit R while you're dragging something, it moves it sideways. Wow, I wish I would have known that like half an hour ago. Okay, let's see if we can place this door now. And uh, hopefully that works. Is that gonna work? Open the door. Oh my goodness, that worked. Okay, hit R, rotate it. Still need a pretty big backpack. Ooh, wooden spikes just came through. Okay, place this, and we'll have a nice uh, back door here as well, right about there. Oh man, the, the building system is um, actually pretty good. I like this. And so what I was thinking is just maybe put some spikes in here so that if someone's chasing me down, maybe I could just uh, run them into the spikes. At least that's the idea here. I might just put the same thing kind of right here so is this gonna hurt me oh yes that hurts me ow oh i'm just now realizing this makes okay i gotta just pay more attention this makes five nails each so i think i just made like a lot of nails yes 65 bring those over to the wood bench and let's make one oh i need more wood yeah because we're gonna try to make a staircase because if we look upstairs there's um there's like an area up there that, I don't know, might have loot or otherwise just might allow us to expand a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. I, if there's gardening in this game, <laughs> we've got plenty of space for a garden now. Okay, while the staircase is crafting, I did get this weapon display. I got one there and we'll put one here. And I have a couple of weapons. There's the scar that we found on the floor. And uh, I don't know, maybe the crossbow will go on that? Or maybe like a baseball bat? I'm not not exactly sure. Ooh, that is nice. Let's try the crossbow. Yep. Oh, cool. Okay, we're we're kind of out of food now. We can always do some fishing though, which is, um, you know, easy right out the back door here. Excellent view. And one like that. And okay, it's not the best thing I've ever built before, but uh, it gets us up here. And uh, I don't know if maybe we could like defend from up here or get at least a better view or something. I don't really know. It's just nice to have, I think. Okay, and I love the fact that you can just pick anything up. Like you don't have to break it. Just pick it back up, put it back down somewhere. Easy peasy. Okay, so the last thing that we need to do today is see if we can find a vehicle because I know that there are some. And oh, let's bring the car battery with us because I'm imagining that um, that's there for a reason and we'll have to keep an eye open for gasoline which might also be a requirement and okay yes down to our last piece of pizza okay so looking for food too off we go okay the food market that seems like this will help our food problem Ooh, a teddy bear oh yes oh man that guy's fast crap uh what is this oh my god it's a freaking plane um is this like a plane like Project Zomboid or a plane like Seven Days to Die? It's incredibly loud. Okay, I don't see that anything is really happening and I just noticed that apple there. <laughs> Give me that. Whoa, uh, absurdly large pack. I don't even know who would carry this thing if it was full. Let's, um, let's try to equip that. Yeah, it doesn't give me an option to equip the Nomad pack. Unless maybe I can put stuff in it and then put it <laughs> into my military backpack. I don't, I don't know. Is that, oh my God, is that how it works? <gasps> ah, get out of here. Oh, who are you? A traitor. 
My goodness, I didn't realize there was traders. Well, this changes a lot. Do you, would, are we using real cash? Because I left all my money at home. Okay, raid helmet. Okay, it, yes, it, they take regular money, but these are expensive. Fuel conditioner, water cooler. Okay, the fuel conditioner, I remember that was a recipe for something like the, uh, the, the grinder thing or something like that. He sells, oh, food for cheap. I can also sell him things. He'll purchase Twinkies. That is it, that's all he'll buy. Okay, I've seen one of those before, I think. Okay, well, what an interesting find here. So we can, um, I didn't, the fuel conditioner really was the only thing there that I think we will need to buy eventually. Okay, it's getting super dark though, so let's uh, move on, see if we can find ourselves a car. Ooh, a tech helmet, very high tech helmet. Although not quite as good as the military helmet, but I'm interested in changing things up and just seeing how it looks. And it looks freaking cool, nice. I found a couple of these Javas. Oh, that gives us a bunch of energy. Oh, that's cool, so we can run more. I don't wanna run anymore though, I want a car. Oh, the bunker, is this it? Bunker 24, oh boy, here we go. Just gonna need a torch for this. Oh yeah, I can pack up the Nomad pack, so that's what I'm doing right now. Make some room, whoa! They sneak right up on you. This is like a backpack in a backpack. It's like the turducken of backpacks. Okay, here we go. Into the bunker. Oh boy, yes, here we go. <gasps> Soldiers, lots of them. Get back. This one's armored. Oh no, crap. Oh, out the door. Shut them in. Ah. Okay. That, well, now we know what to expect, at least. Unfortunately, I have no more bullets left, so we're not using the vector today. Although you'd think with all these military zombies... Oh, there we go. A suppressor. Hopefully we get something good out of this place, then. Oh, a scar. Yes. Although I don't have bullets for that, either. And I already have one at home, so... I guess maybe low threshold to kind of toss that one. Unless we find some ammo. Ooh, it goes down further, and this is... Very difficult to see in. An AK suppressor. Oh, this is where you get the good stuff. Military lockers. Ooh, a pouch. So we equip that and then we have a nice extra little bit of storage here. A katana. Whoa. Putting that away. Equipping the katana, please. And give me the bullets. Although I'm not um, I'm not savvy enough. Okay, this is 5.56 five, by 4.5. I think the Chris Vector is 9 mil. Yes, chambered in 9 mil. <laughs> Got some 50 cals. Just some casual BMG rifle rounds. Oh, and then have to be careful here. These are all four different things. And then every drawer also has something to search for. So how do I... Oh, there we go. I just found some 9 mil. I drug it into the Vector. And that's how you reload your weapons. Yeah, we need a button. Is there a button maybe to like quick take all, you know? Pickaxe, got a nine mil suppressor. Can we put that on the vector there? Oh, it looks like I did. Oh man, a cutlass sword. That does way more damage than the katana does. I just want to see it in action. Okay, they also need to make it so I can see my weapon in first person. Taking all the bullets and the money. Okay, we're off to a great start here. Just need to not die. Need to not die. Also, with the amount of 50 cal I'm finding, we need to find a 50 cal gun here. Military helmet. Ooh, okay, like a gym over here. All right, here we go. Testing out the sword. Ooh, working good. <gasps> also, getting hit though. Okay. Okay, G36C there. Ooh, the Dragonov. Ooh, put that in my pouch. Going deeper into the bunker here. This looks like a dead end, but there was the other staircase, right? And nothing of any importance here. Wood chair. I kind of want that, but uh, at last, I yeah, we're 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 totally topped off here. Ooh, that's a, a nice. Ooh, what's this? Samurai figure. Hell yeah! And I can just take like a full freaking computer with me. Okay, well if we need that in the future, we know where to get it. There's still that one more staircase going down. Not sure how much bigger this place gets. Although some zombies came up behind. Hello? Am I like hallucinating? Did you see that? Oh, this place is freaking huge here. Here we go. I can hear him. Ha! Whoa! Here we go! Oh, it's a big guy! We can't fight the big guy. Get back! Oh, boy! Nope, 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 we're leaving. Oh, damn! Life is too short for long-term grudges. 
So we can respawn back at the base. Although this is not, oh no, I didn't put down a base marker. So I am like way, I have no idea where I am. And it's like early, early morning. <sighs> They've given me a frying pan. I'm not sure if my loot is back there at the bunker or if that's it. Like, you know, you die, you lose everything on your inventory. Well, anyway, I've had a blast playing this game. There is still so much to see and do. There's more crafting to do, building. I still don't know if there's any sort of like a tower defense element to this game. And obviously there's more to that bunker. There's vehicles still to discover and explore. And so my final verdict on this game is, uh, oh, I don't know, let's wing it. I'll give this uh, an eight out of 10. I don't know how much replayability it has, but it's been a blast just to play here for a couple of hours. And I do recommend it. I think it's worth picking up and trying out. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we have to call it a day. If you'd like to see another episode of this, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and leave this video a like so that I know that it's been well received by the audience. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.